What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here. And remember how I kept using the word accommodating in my last Jared Lysick video? I mean, it was the perfect word that I could use to describe how the court and how the court system has been treating Jared. They've been really accommodating to Jared, never mind his victims. Who cares about them? Let's make sure Jared is comfortable. Let's make sure Jared doesn't have to travel to give his fingerprints. Let's make sure no one can live stream Jared in court. Let's make sure we change this court date to give Jared a little more time. It's just like everything, everything was working out in a way that it just appears as if the court was just pampering Jared. Go ahead and give the dude a facial and a pedicure while you're at it. Well, as most of you all already know, tomorrow, Jared was supposed to be in court. And, you know, hearing that news, I was happy because, OK, we don't have to wait till after the holidays. Let's find out a little more information about what's going on with Jared right now. And then looking at the situation and knowing how horrible of a person Jared really is. Yeah. A couple of days before Christmas, Jared should be in court. That's what he deserves. But you know what? The court doesn't feel that way. The court wants to make sure Jared is comfortable. They want to be accommodating to Jared. Now, it would be irresponsible of me to get here on this video and to tell you that the courts are working in Jared's favor. They're on Team Jared. That would be irresponsible of me to say. But if you're just a normal person looking at the situation, you might feel that way. And I, I understand why, because I feel that way, too. I've looked into a lot of cases. I'm sure we've all looked into our fair share of cases. When have you ever known the court system to be this accommodating? I mean, hot diggity damn. <laughs> it's like, do you want get the guy a freaking comforter? a little nice pillow, give him some freaking room service in the middle of the courtroom, bring him into the courtroom and push out a tray of all of his finest treats and meals and snacks. Pour the dude some wine and feed him grapes for the love of God. So now Jared's court date that was supposed to be tomorrow has been changed to January 20th. So no, Jared doesn't have to worry about this. Jared needs to spend the holidays with his family. Never mind Jared's cousin, his sister, any of his other alleged victims, if there are any other alleged victims. I mean, we've been told there are, but hey, never mind those people. What matters is that Jared is comfortable. Let's make sure Jared doesn't have to come to court on the 23rd. That's too close to Christmas. Let's give Jared, a, you know, another Christmas at home with his family. Let's make sure Jared gets a happy new year. Let's make sure Jared can sit on YouTube and pump out more videos to keep the money rolling in. And look at how desperate they are with the Kylie Rodney situation. They've now reached the point that in desperation, let's put all of this stuff out there about Kylie Rodney. It's so ridiculous, and so stupid, and so sad, and it's so pathetic. But at the same time, I gotta say, I'm losing all confidence in this case. I'm confident in the sense of I believe Jared's accusers. And I don't just believe Jared's accusers because of the words that came out of their mouth. I believe them because Jared himself has confirmed these accusations to be true. That's, that's a detail. It's a large detail that we cannot gloss over. Whenever you mention this story, whenever you talk about this story, you have to acknowledge that Jared has acknowledged that these accusations are true. So why we're even here, I don't understand. Jared decided he was going to acknowledge these accusations were true, but at the same time fight these ac accusations 
Because hell, if you're Jared, I guess you got it like that. For some reason, Jared feels confident enough that he can beat these charges, despite the fact that he already acknowledged that these accusations were true. I mean, really think about that. How arrogant and cocky you got to be. And I, I would take it, that's beyond arrogance and cockiness. I feel like there has to be something else there. Why are you so sure and so confident that you could fight the accusations that you already acknowledge to be true? That's really weird. That's like, imagine looking at a true crime case and someone comes out, I killed this person. I did it. Here's the weapon. Here's when I did it. And then they go to court. Hey, no, I didn't do that, guys. Sorry. Like, in what world does that happen? In this world. Because it just happened. Jared acknowledged that he did horrible things to his family members. And then he turns around and fights those accusations after acknowledging that they're true. Because Jared has faith that he'll be able to get away with it. And that he'll be able to get off because he knows that maybe somehow he can manipulate the legal system. Maybe he has enough money to throw at it. Maybe he knows some people higher up. And let's be honest, these weirdos that like kids, they protect each other and they're all planted within our government. They're all within the legal system. They're every freaking where and they protect their own. So all I got to say is I'm extremely disappointed about this news. I'm not surprised about this news. I'm interested in finding out what happens on January 20th. But then again, I feel like January 20th is going to roll around and then there's just going to be something else to happen to work in Jared's favor. This, <laughs> there, it's almost like they're not even trying to make it look like a, a regular court case, in my opinion. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. At the end of the day, I just hope all of you all have a happy holidays. Make sure you take some time out to enjoy your family. If you don't have any family, enjoy yourself. Take some time away from the true crime YouTube. Watch something lighthearted and have a good holiday season. I will be back to talk to you all in the next video. Make sure you drop your thoughts down below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Ring, ring the notification bell. All of that good stuff. I got too much stuff on my mind right now. But anyways, I'll talk to you all in the next video.